Right, in this video, I wanna talk about Google Map and how guests actually find you organically in Google Map, and as a result of that, you will start getting more direct booking, but also more brand presence. So guys, if you're new to this channel, my name is Piers, I've worked with over 1,700 properties all over the world, and I can only give you facts and figures based on my client experience, based on all the properties that we've worked in Google, there's honestly we've we've taken time to appreciate each property to understand our guests to understand our investors clients and understand the property and its market placement to attract you direct booking so look in this video i'm going to show you numbers of things that's going to open your eyes to understand why google map is so important for your airbnb and short-term renter business so firstly if you haven't watched my previous video on how to register your property in google my business go and check it out and also we'll leave it down in the comment below or the description below so you can actually go and understand how to work out now secondly let's talk about how do they use it so if you think about guest behaviors look i'm a massive fan of talking about guests and their booking behaviors now a lot of time i think two things we've found is when somebody's actually wanting to book a property depending on where they're going let's say let's say for argument's sake we take uk as an example if somebody's going to liverpool and there are certain things they want in liverpool or certain location they want it the first thing people do right now is go into google map now if you have seen google map and i'm sure 95% of people have ever used Google Map and internet, you can zoom in and you will start looking at the street names and as a result of that, you'll automatically be given and promoted some of the businesses that's in the area. So let's say for argument's sake, they go, you know, a client, your client's going to Liverpool, they're looking at a certain street in Liverpool, they zoom in because they want to know about a car park. What's gonna happen is when they zoom in, all the businesses that's registered around that area is now gonna be popped in their screen. What that is doing is not only it's A, giving your guest an understanding of who you are and what you do within that potential area, and as long as you've got an optimized listing in Google, your brand will see organically. So even if somebody was looking at Airbnb, but they just managed to look at a Google map before they moved and they saw your listing popping out, literally saying short lets and service accommodation in that investment area, the more likely chances they're gonna press you because you're offering exactly what the guest is looking for. So a tip here is always make sure your Google map is registered with the proper, proper right address and to be seen exactly how your end user wants you to be seen. So look, you might have used Google Map before, but I've got viewers who are quite new to branding, could be new to direct bookings. You might think, what is actually Google Maps? Now, in general, Google Maps are used for mapping, right? People use it for you know travel time. They, they look at their destination. They look at you know how long it's gonna take. It gives you a real feedback on the um, kind of the traffic and all that kind of stuff. But what people forget from a business perspective is also start showing you, if you zoom in a little bit it starts showing you the the actual businesses in that area and you know if you if you look at from a perspective that I've done that previously when I zoom in something and I'm like oh I saw this business there um, I'll click on them or if I'm going somewhere and I'm in that street I see a restaurant that I like I'll click them and as a result of that now the conversion side of things starts so how do they go about booking you using Google Maps so it's also a process because look, it's not like somebody going into Airbnb and just booking you directly, selecting the dates, and you know they, they might be able to say, Airbnb will say, oh, you've got availability or you don't have it. Whereas in this case, you're being seen organically as a brand and not as a property, which is what I love about, because in our industry, a lot of people forget that you're not just a property, you're also a business. And sometimes it's okay for people to find you as a business first and property second. So in this case, what happens is they look at your map, they click on your listing, which obviously give you a brand name on it. Now, once that, you should always make sure you have your website link and your phone number added to that listing. Because if you want that direct booking, again, if you go back into you know service accommodation, Liverpool, whatever, you see loads of listing with that website link or sometimes not even their number. So all of a sudden, the listing is not worth it because you know at the end of the day, how is somebody going to contact you with that those details? So the stage two, and I. I hope you're finding this interesting and we've had enough 
previous experience from clients actually finding us organically in Google. And one of the things you'll find is, you know, once you set up your Google My Business, you can see the clicks, the amount of views you've been getting and the organic searches. Now, the second stage I wanna talk about is when somebody finds your number, they're gonna call you and that's the first thing they're gonna talk about is your brand name. They're not gonna talk about, hey, I've seen your X2 bed apartment, penthouse property in Liverpool. They're gonna be more like, hey, we've just seen this, you know, you've got a property available in this and is this this brand what can you you know and can you can you accommodate four people or five people or ten people and they're going to give you a certain requirement so the way now you're dealing with this lead is much more relationship rather than oh we just want to book because you've got to ask the right question you've got to find more details now to break it down into this process of getting direct booking from google map they call you first once they call you, my advice to you is always make sure you ask them for their name, their email address and their number, because the best thing you can do is then set a template of, you know, you're gonna get this phone calls all the time, so you can't be having that same conversation again and again. So you can genuinely ask them saying, oh, what data are you looking for, blah, blah, blah. But then what you say to them is say, look, can I just send you an email with certain questions that I need from you to be answered? As long as you send that over to me, I can then go back and check our calendar to make sure we've got the availability because at the end of the day, you might have the availability, you might not have the availability. The beauty here is the lead is still yours, which means if you can't fulfill it and you've got competition that you work locally with or fellow operators that you work locally with, you can always pass that lead for commission. So you know over the years if you think about how much commission you can make by just passing over those leads it's going to add up to making sure you add that bottom line profit because you're all you've done is you passed over a lead and made 10 15 percent commission so another way to add revenue to your business now this is how you get found organically as a brand as a business in google maps and not thinking about you know oh we need to rely on an ota all the time airbnb booking.com first or anything like that it's purely based on your brand your business and as long as you're being seen in this way you start building trust but also I always say to our clients look you might not get booked from that specific client but what you've done there is you've built a brand reputation you've got a click into your business because Google is all about algorithm the more people click your listing be it Google Maps or actually Google searches the better chances that you're gonna be ranked organically longer term, because it's not just short term. One of the things I found quite unique about Google, and something can be sometimes wrong, and you might be able to Google search this, if you type in, let's say, service accommodation Liverpool, or if you're in somewhere in the US, just put short lets in New York, or vacation rental properties in New York, and go into Google, sometimes you're gonna find properties with only one review and even one star review but they will be organically pushed over to the top of the page purely because a the listings matured b they might just have the clicks you know it might not be people booking them but because they've had organic clicks over the years google's just gone hey it sounds like this person's getting a lot of click let's push them so as a result of that you're building this system but you're building this operation for your brand which is going to allow you to get some direct bookings and as a result of that again the bottom line increase in revenue so look google map is such a big thing right now for any business just not short-term rent a business and i would love you to comment down below if you are already registered if you're not if you want a free training please comment down below we've done some free training on how to list your properties on google maps as well as google my business which allows you to achieve this progression to uh, to getting you long term or direct bookings. So guys, if you're new to this channel, my name is Piers. We've worked with over 1,700 properties all over the world. And recently we've started actually uh, creating free guides. Um, we're gonna put a link down below. We've done over 50 free guides. We're gonna pop them some on the screenshot here so that you understand for us, it's all about your growth, your short-term rental growth, your Airbnb growth. And eventually as a business, you are so strong and operational, strong on branding and if you feel like you've the missing gaps puzzles in your business in terms of creating a high short-term rental brand please make sure you book a call with myself it's free you get to understand what we exactly do you also get to understand how we're so much detailed around each properties we've worked with clients in australia spain portugal us 
UK is our biggest clientele and we all we do is take care of your marketing and advertising and then you lead, we lead you into a brand that's going to work for you forever. So guys, please make sure you hit that like, subscribe and share this video with your fellow operator. I hope this helps you and your fellow operators get long-term direct booking using Google Maps. Thank you so much for watching.